Taking away the car keys when our loved ones can no longer drive safely. Brought to you by Safe at Home Community Education Series. Taking away the car keys. How can you prevent a terrible car accident, injury to you or a loved one, an innocent pedestrian, or serious property damage? As people age, their senses may become dulled and their reflexes slowed. And behind the wheel of an automobile, those become liabilities. Some medications that seniors may be on may also impair their ability to drive safely. The signs that you need to take away the car keys? The signs of an impaired driving ability may be hidden. You may not be in the car with them all the time to see it. But the problems are there, like shifting between lanes, drowsiness, poor vision, especially at night, ignored signs and signals, unexplained dents and dings, and frequent traffic tickets. If you suspect that your elder is having difficulty concentrating while driving, you have some responsibility to act. But be careful to balance your concerns with your elder's sense of independence and maturity. Have your elder enroll in a safe driving course. Some adult education programs offer them, and AARP offers them in most metropolitan areas. You can get valuable tips and perhaps lower insurance rates by doing this. An impartial, authoritative instructor may be able to influence your elder if you can't. Or talk to the doctor. Arrange to have both a general physical and an eye exam. Talk to the doctor beforehand about your concerns, and then raise the same concerns during the exam so the doctor can respond to those. Ask for the input of the physician while your elder is present. An ophthalmologist can determine whether your elder meets the visual standards for his or her state. If correction is not possible, it may be best to turn in the driver's license. Doctors may now confidentially alert state motor vehicle authorities if they suspect a person is too impaired to drive. Respect your elder's right to drive, however. Your elder has a, a right to drive, but that is contingent on competency. If he or she is clearly not capable of driving safely, convey your concerns that a failure to act responsibly can lead to negative results. These could include injury to his or herself, innocent bystanders, or property leading to charges of involuntary manslaughter. Limit time and stress behind the wheel. Try to limit your elders driving, I would say to weekdays, my slide says to weekends, when there may be less traffic. I think there most people are more, more traffic on the weekends than there are during the weeks. Or to areas and roads where the pace is slower and there are fewer pedestrians. Do not let him or her drive alone when possible. Suggest that you drive more often and then he or she come along for the ride. But you want to help him or her remain independent. The car may be the only way he or she can get out of the house and retain a sense of independence. Homebound seniors are more depressed, lonelier, and may decline in health more rapidly. Balance your need to time for time for yourself and your family with your ability to drive your elder whenever he or she needs to. Look into public transportation and senior center shuttles. Appeal to your elder's pocketbook. Break down the cost of owning and maintaining a car and compare that cost with taxi service, senior citizen buses, and local transportation. Reporting. Report him or her to the authorities. This is an unpopular and extreme course of action. You may feel compelled to notify your state Department of Motor Vehicles that your elder is unsafe driver. You may bring this up if your state has regular testing and renewal requirements. What's your next step? You know, we exist safe at home health care to help families and friends care for the ones they love. We provide around the clock in home personal care services that also includes a transportation service in the Chicagoland area. For more information and to learn more about us, you can visit us at our website at safeathomehealthcare.com or call us at 630 890 1268. Please don't wait until it's an emergency.